welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog another exciting episode of extreme exotic whips at a, a undisclosed location um i cannot even tell y'all what it is at. even if i tell y'all what it is it's like we're in the middle of um nowhere so we have my boy house mo and um so, welcome to the channel and welcome to the vlog though so thank you thank you i appreciate it i appreciate so, it so what you have underneath the, you know let's go in the garage the cover and joe welcome to the vlog yo what's up <laughs> Oh yeah, I am ready. Right, here we go. Oh, nice cover, bro. It's a red Alfa Romeo. Can I see what's underneath? Oh sure. Let's see what's underneath, man. It's a little sneak preview. You gotta check check under the bra. <laughs> you know, make sure everything's good. Wow, look at that. Things is just loaded with a little bit of carbon fiber everywhere. Man, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Finally get a chance to see this in the flesh. All right. It's a 2016 Alpha Romeo 4C Spider. Only 200 in the world of this specific color. Um, this is the lowest mileage one in the country. It's got wow. like some thousand miles on it. Um, it's got the spider track pack, so this thing is a beast on the track. Um, it's got a carbon fiber monocoque, so the entire chassis of this vehicle is carbon fiber, which we'll show you very soon. Um, and it is one of the lightest cars. It's got 237 brake horsepower, which is not a lot, but for a car that weighs um, just a little over 2,000 pounds. You're averaging the same as a Ferrari, which is like 10.1 horsepower per pound. Dang. So, this thing is uh, making moves. All right, so what's the um the engine power by? Is it powered by like Toyota or something like that? No, or? it's actually by, so it's an Alfa Romeo engine, so it's actually made by Ferrari. Oh, by Ferrari? Ferrari yeah. So this is the lowest is. cylinder for Ferrari engine ever produced. Yes, it's, it's the, yeah, it's a four cylinder, it's a four C. That's where the name four C comes from. It's, what, it's very loud for a four cylinder. It's really fast. They say it's zero to 16, 4.1. I'm pushing 2.9. Um, That's so imagine if so, I was in there, I'm kind of light. So it's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, it's a cleaner spec. It's got the quadrifolio wheels, which are literally they're gorgeous. These are the, what you see on the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifolio. Um, wow. And this is the most spec'd out model you can get. Wow. Car. The only one that I Even have ever seen. The little man wants the car. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, this is... This, I can show you around the car if you want. Oh, sure. So, it's got the carbon fiber um, mirrors. Even the headlights are carbon fiber. Oh, and the inside, I, I see the weave. Wow. And it also says 4C right over here. Okay. A little fun, I got it. A little fun fact about this car. The front doesn't open. Yeah. It's just to oh. look like that. Wow. It does not open. It's filled with all the electronics of the car. In order to, you know, do an oil change on this car, you got to bring this into the dealer. They got to lift the car up, pull down the, the body, and it's, it's a little expensive to get it done, but it is awesome. Jeez. Yeah, and how much was the MR, um, the MSRP so originally? It's actually, it's actually not so bad. The MSRP on this um, is like 77, a... which is pretty cheap, but these are going up in value. I mean, within the next five years, these are gonna be about 150,000. Sheesh. They don't make them anymore. They stopped making them in 2020, and they they don't make they make the spider and they make the uh road the roadster which is basically where the top doesn't come off and it's just not the same as a spider so wow we'll start on an alpha romeo 4c Yeah. Look how hot that is. 
Of course, this is a, amongst my, my favorite right here. Yep, this is the favorite. That, that is that's loud. Like, that's loud for a four cylinder. Yeah. And then I get pulled over for my car because they said that my car was too loud. My ears, like. So the whole entire tub is carbon fiber. Wow. Is there a way to open the engine bay? Yes, that's what we're gonna do next. Thank you. Okay, okay so now the trunk space is shared so with This is the actually engine. the roof. Right here is in, in the trunk. So this is it. This oh, car. Soft top, okay. Soft top, yeah. So wow. it's actually, you can even see the carbon fiber behind. That the whole entire thing is carbon. Wow. I would have thought this is like a mini McLaren, though. It is. It's basically the same. The only cars you can get carbon fiber monocoque on it are basically a Ferrari that's like a million dollars. Like oh, a this? Ferrari. Or McLaren 720S. How much does this wow. cost? I mean, this is actually cheap. This is relatively cheap for what you get. It's called a... Your, uh, it's, a, it's basically a mini supercar. Wow. Um, so this is like like a modern day, like, not to put it, I'm not, I'm not this car, like, right? um, what car was similar to this? Like the Toyota um, MR2, but like super updated, but so better. I would con compare it more to a Lotus Succeed. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's what we would compare this car to. Um, but it's got better looks. And... It's a carbon fiber monocoque. The entire thing is carbon fiber. Even behind the seats, it's just all carbon fiber. Yeah, you can't sell this thing. No, this thing is this is hard to find. It took me about a uh, about six months to a year to track this thing down. Cause, cause I thought I thought you spec'd it yourself, like you know, from factory. Like this is my second one, actually. Your second I had one. My second one in 2018, and it was beautiful. But and it didn't have the. No, no, the it had. It was. It didn't have these rims. These were the. These were hard to get. But, what color was it? Uh, it had black rims. Hmm. This matched perfectly with, with the whole car skin. Um. But yeah, it, I fell in love with the car. I drove it for a while. I put like five thousand miles on that car. It was my daily. Wow. And I realized there's value in this car, and I'm gonna keep this one. This is gonna go to my kids. Wow. It's also got the 3M coating. So there's actually a sticker, a clear sticker. Oh, like clear, the bro. entire car. If you look closely. Oh, I, see, I see the... Right you can see there. it right there, yeah. So the entire car is 3M'd oh. and it's ceramic coated as well. So when no it rock. rains on it, it's, it slides off. There. It will, or slide right off. And no rock chips either. No rock chips. That's true. Got to take care of your cars. So everything about this car is about weight savings. They didn't spare any detail on weight savings. What does that mean? This is not, I don't press a button and the roof comes on. I gotta put it on manually. And this is like a single person's, oh, never mind. You just slide it, slide, slide it over. It. You stick it into these little clips. Oh, okay. That's it. On one side. This actually matches your Nintendo. Oh yeah, I might as well we'll take the switch out and take a picture with them both. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you lock it in place. So you just take that. Uh, okay, one, I, I see two. this lips. You and gotta you hear bring it pop. You gotta bring this to at least one of the shows, just one, and then. Uh, on the uh, you wanna see? Oh, let's see how it looks. All right, let's see how it looks on the bottom. All you gotta do is. Just lock these in place. That's one. And you say Alfa Romeo on them. Oh, hold on, let me get that. And that's it. Another uh, cool thing about this car, there is no power steering. What? It does not come with power steering. More weight savings. All about weight savings. You don't need it in this car. But when you're not moving, it sucks. What? And then you can still shift with these like yeah. effortlessly. So, so this is this is more like the Ferrari style. It's got doesn't have a drive neutral or anything. It has one automatic or manual because it's a dual clutch. And what does that one stands for? Drive. Drive? Drive. 
Wow. We we'll also have for drive. a few modes in the car. So there's three modes that's going to you will see down there. It's called DNA. So DNA, right? So it's the DNA of the car. It's, wow. So that stands for all weather, natural driving, and dynamic. There's also a special feature that when you hold it past dynamic, you hold it up for 10 seconds, it goes into race mode. Oh, so it takes off the stabilities and Everything. all that thing. Oh, it's wow. raw for the track, puts on a G meter, and you just, you just let the hammer down. It's also sick about this car, which you don't see in a lot of cars anymore. Oh, the e-brake. got an e-brake in the car. Wow. So I this car can drift like crazy. It's also rear wheel drive. No, that's it's a dope. lot of fun, and it weighs nothing, so you could really tailspin it on this car. You can do uh, donuts. <gasps> donuts. Oh. Uh, here we go. So let's um see how this feels. Don't worry, there's nothing in my back pocket. Now nah, you know, so nothing puncture the seat. Oh my goodness! Wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. Yeah, over the carbon fiber sills. All right, thanks, Joe. You'll be okay, Joe? Yeah. Right uh, here. Just gotta put this in here. Oh, yeah, quick question. Can you stall in this car? Um, uh, no. Oh, okay. You can't stall in this car. I wish you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it's got these cool foot pedals. If you look at them, they're like F1 style foot pedals. Um, and if you look at the screen here, so it says all weather blue you can change it to natural and then you can change it to dy dynamic and then if you hold it down watch I'm holding it down and now it's in alpha male race mode oh wow let me see can I fit that for myself let's see the oh yeah he wasn't lying yo and we got the G meter on in the middle That's hard for me to drive my car in regular automatic. I don't even touch that mode no more. We could put it in manual, I mean. Yeah, do it. It's so low to the ground. You heard that? I heard the scrape. Yeah, just put it in manual. Now we're in manual. So we're going to be using the paddle shifters. Alright. Gotta drive a little bit away from the neighbors, you know? I dare you not to smile. That's hard. I'm smiling. I'm, like I'm smiling right now. I bet people a hundred dollars every time. <laughs> if, if, if you don't smile, a hundred dollars is yours. Uh, that's that's hard. I'm already smiling already. Yeah. You feel everything in this car. Every bump. The steering is on point. Blue. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, sure. Go go for it. All right. Shift to slow the car down even faster. Yeah, that saves me a lot in my car. Cause they, they when, you, when, when you try to turn this car, you really you have no issue. <laughs> This car is 
much as it's like you know sub hundred thousand dollar car on uh, price it competes you know i i've raced lambos i've raced ferraris and even though those cars are amazing those cars aren't as light and yeah, not. and they aren't as small so their turning ratio is so much harder and i can go like this like really and the last tight. minute They had to lie about um. And we sir. just broke 800 miles. There you go, 805. It's kind of tiny from this side, but dang, yeah. bruh. Yo, I gotta try these on me once in my life. Oh yeah, I recommend if you get a car like this, you keep it. And this, this is you bring this to the track. Honestly. You don't have to even do anything with this car. You just drive by. Oh, and then, and, and, and then just put it into that mode down there. Like uh -huh. that. Dynamic. Yeah, and you dynamic. can drive it in natural, too. Like, natural is a pretty... Good. All weather is slow. It's like, you know, it calms the engine down a little bit. Yeah, that's what I said. Don't ever put it in automatic yeah, for me. I only, I'm like, drive, nah, it. Uh -oh. I only drive it in dynamic or race. I'm like... Like, we'll slow down, you know, for all the... Yeah. Yeah. Something I don't mind doing. Right. Yo! <laughs> Yo, the turbo spooling is like right behind my head. Oh, yeah. Yo! Okay, wow. The sounds, pops, crackles. This car does it all. Dang. And then that Dolph Vader. It's about the like, all right, like, let me take a deep breath. Damn, yo, that turbo though. Oh my god, man. Wow, yeah, for me, you can't put it, you gotta leave it in this mode all day. You can't drive auto with me. You, you can't. I said automatic. Yo! The That's the thing about this car. It's just, it keeps you smiling all the time. And it brings joy to everybody. You told me not to smile. I smile when I, I, I didn't even step foot into it yet. It just does it. And I love how the steering wheel, first of all, it's flat on the bottom. And it's so basic and simple. There's no, there's no buttons, no gadgets. It's a raw race car. And this is what you don't see in cars. Everything's not going electric. Oh, yeah. Which means you can't, like, you know, you're not a driver anymore. The next day. 
Yo, I still gotta collect myself. I, I think a part of me is still in that car. Well, my this is actually another day. I'm back on the job, but yo, yo, that experience on, on, on that Alpha with my Mayo Four C was um crazy. It, it it was dope, and I slept on that car. I totally slept. But I'm not gonna drag this outro any longer. There's more crazy videos coming up. So also like comment and subscribe and keep those post notifications on so you don't miss a beat and don't forget to click that bell and that is just about it and i'm gonna go back to work now before i get caught talk to myself to the camera and with that we out and see you in the next one